Hey fam, what's up? This is Robert Anton, robertanton.com. Uh, so you want to be a singer? <laughs> Why you want to do that? <laughs> okay, um, so right now it is 5 a.m. in the morning and I laid down. I might have slept for about two hours and I woke up. I couldn't sleep, so I checked the mail and all that than the other. I was reading some stuff and so I thought I would bring you a So You Want to Be a Singer um, and what I'm going to call this one. I think I am going to call it, you know, I, I try to name it up front, but I think I am going to call it um, copywriting your music because I got um, a few emails for, from people asking me about copywriting their music and I thought I could just do a little bit of something plus I'm going through it right now um, with my music and I'll tell you what I do to begin to start out you know um, it costs quite a bit to copyright a song and a song is already copywritten once you put it down into tangible form which means once you write a song on a piece of paper um, it's copywritten you know, you can uh, attach your copyright to it, you know, the little C with the circle, you know, uh, your name and the year. But it's copywritten once you write it down in a tangible form. Okay, what you do for um, added protection is you register it um, in the United States with the Copyright Office. Um, and that registration provides you a little more protection. It provides a date um, that says this is the date that I actually, you know, basically registered this 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 um, piece of music and it also adds you protections like there are extra protections like if you have to sue somebody or something like that you know you definitely have a date you definitely have something on file at the copyright office now this is what I do which is I find to be the least expensive thing to do and that is you can copyright a catalog um, with the copyright office as long as it's written by as long as each song is written in part by the same author. So say you collaborate on 10 songs with 10 different people. You can take all 10 of those songs because you have written them. You can put them into a catalog, um, just the lyrics, and you can send them to the copyright office and copyright the lyrics. And what that does for you is, of course, that that gives you protection of having the lyrics copyrighted or having something that is down in form that says, listen, I have proof that, you know, in 2000, I, I wrote these lyrics, even though I didn't do anything with them until 2009. That way, if somebody else says in 2008, they've heard just you, you sing this song or something like that, and then they try to come and make another song with it, you can say, this, this, no, they, they, you know, copyrighted my, I mean, they did my song, they're infringing my copyright. You'll be able to prove that you already had this, you know, the, the lyrics registered way back in 2000. Okay then, for copywriting the music, what I do is once I have a full project together, um, I go ahead and I copyright the whole project on one CD. And um, you can do that before it's published, before you sell it to anyone or anything like that. Or you can wait until after you actually um, go ahead and publish it and start sending it around. Remember, it is copywritten. Um, once you set it down into tangible, tangible form. So, you know, even if you're like sending clips to friends and stuff like that, what I do a lot of times is as soon as I start collaborating with somebody, you know, we're sending emails back and forth about the music and stuff like that. We're sending little clips. Um, we're sending uh, partially uh, finished pieces. So I'll make sure that I keep those in my email so that I have a date stamp on them if I have any problem with anyone. And then I also, once I have a, a, a full body of work in a tangible form, I'll go ahead and send that in and I'll be able to copyright, you know, 10, 15, 20 songs all at one time on one CD. And um, the, for, the first form with just the lyrics is a PA form. Okay, I, now I'm going to give you a disclaimer. This is about to change August 1st. But the first form is a PA form, just copywriting the lyrics. Um, the second form is a SR form, a sound recording form. And when you do a sound recording form, you're copywriting everything. You're copywriting uh, the lyrics, but you're also copy, copywriting the underlying music, um, the arrangement. Um, so that's something that you want to do. Now, the Copyright Office, uh, as I was going through this to copyright my current project, the Copyright Office is changing that all over. And you can go to, I'll probably put this in the sidebar too, copyright.gov. Um, and right now I'm at copyright.gov slash forms and they are starting to use uh, an electronic copyright, copyright office and what they're having you do is they're actually having you file online 
and um, the fee is going to be a lower filing fee of $35 for a basic claim um, for online filings. But you will also be able to fill out the regular, you can order a paper form. Now you can't download the paper forms from <laughs> the website. They're really trying to get people to start going online and doing this now. And for some things naturally you can't do uh, the paper form. But it's going to be August 1st. So if you have stuff that you need to copyright, I'm trying to do this, uh, this video now because if you have things that you need to copyright, um, you actually need to get those in before August 1st because on August 1st, the fees are changing. August 1st, 2009, um, this electronic copyright will be $35, but the paper form will be $65. It's $45 right now. It'll be $65. Um, so if you're planning on doing some stuff with the paper form right now, you should go ahead and do that before August 1st, before um, the time changes. After that, you can do the electronic filing um, or they'll have another option also. I'm sure they will, but I think the, ele the electronic form will be 35 and any other option will be more. It will cost more. Um, so I hope this has offered you some kind of jump off, you know, some kind of way to start um, and some kind of information that can help you out. If you have questions, again, always, if you have questions, ask down in the comment box. If they are more elaborate questions, you might want to send them to my email. And um, hey, be blessed and get that music out there. My new project, Bigger Than Me, is out now. I'm uh, already doing the, the lead off song, Summertime. I'm already sending that around. Um, so check it out. Take it easy. Peace, Robert Anton.